So here I have um, a WST03-2 solar track controller and I have it connected here with uh, 24 volts here. And if I hit set, you can see that the east works, west works, south works, but then north doesn't work. There are four screws that you can loosen here. I already have uh, taken that out and it will come out here. And then with that you can remove the back and we'll have a look. So the screen also can come off. There is a couple of screws that you can remove here. Okay. So and then just wiggle out this this uh, this display. Um these are the relays here. My, I do see a little bit of corrosion. Okay, but my thinking is it probably is a bad relay. I also see there's some corrosions in there as well. So these relays, you can see, they have five pins, one, two, three, four, five, and the way they work is like this, the, the three at the bottom, this is the coil, that's five volts, that activates the relay. In the normal state, the switch is connected to this leg here. This is this is the off, and this is on state. When there's five volt, it's going to connect, and it's going to pull off the voltage here and then it's going to connect to this pin here and then kind of go down here. That's the idea. So, I'm going to try this relay right here. Putting 5 volts from this pin this pin here. And you can hear it turn on. So we'll just can test them all out.
So, here are all the things that I trouble sh uh, sh shot. So I know that you can go into the mode and then you can get all these lights to turn on. So the first thing that I did was I tested these 5 volt relays and you can put positive, it's 5 volts, so positive VCC here and ground here and they're all working. So I thought that the, you know, the relays are all good. The next thing that I checked was this driver IC. This driver IC drives all the relays because I, I tested the relays, they were working. Um, then I tested this. So this is the input and the output. It's basically a buffer circuit uh, from the CPU. I know the CPU is working. I, you can also swap out the CPU with the other board. I also did that. There wasn't a problem with this. I also swapped uh, this buffer circuit. Still same issue. This last north button was not working. I replaced these uh, capacitors right here. Um, these guys right here, they're 100 microfarad. I thought maybe that would be an issue. These small 104 capacitors still uh, didn't work. And I was like, what's going on? These little guys, replace them. And then after a long time, it was the, usually the simplest solution fixes it. What I ended up doing was switching these um, relays and under it, it was corroded the PCB board from the inverter um, output to drive this wasn't connecting. So it was a sh basically a, ba uh, a corroded trace and so I fixed that trace and that fixed the problem. There was one other one that it would, when you pressed on the button, it would get stuck and, and that was to do with the button uh, issue. And I put some um, contact spray this in there because there was a little bit of corrosion inside. But basically I was able to get all three boards working again.